lieber Herr Staatsminister Rhein, ich muss leider darauf hinweisen, dass Sie gerade dem Publikum falsche Hoffnungen gemacht haben. Sie sind nicht der letzte Redner heute. Der nächste Redner kommt hierhin heute mit einem doppelten Brückenschlag oder nennen wir es lieber vielleicht eine Zwischenstation. Bis vor kurzem war er Generalkonsul des Landes Sri Lanka hier in Frankfurt, damit der Stadt natürlich eng verbunden. Heute vertritt er als Botschafter des Landes Sri Lanka äh, die Präsenz des Landes in Den Haag, hat aber natürlich die Verbindung zu Frankfurt nicht verloren und ist deswegen heute Abend hier. Außerdem ist er der Gründungspräsident des Diplomatic Council. Sie werden sich vielleicht ein bisschen fragen, was braucht die Welt noch ein Diplomatic Council? Der Slogan dahinter steht, gibt ein bisschen mehr den Eindruck, was es denn ist. Denn es sind internationale Denker und Denker, die sich zusammengefunden haben, um nach dem Motto eines Global Think Tank unsere Zukunft ein bisschen besser zu machen. Begrüßen Sie also jetzt gleich mit uns seine Exzellenz Budi Atauda, Gründungspräsident des Diplomatic Council und Botschafter des Landes Sri Lanka in Den Haag. Our next speaker has built two bridges, a rather an intermediate station. Until very recently, he was the Consul General of Sri Lanka here in Frankfurt. Today, he has traveled from The Hague to Frankfurt. In the Netherlands, he now represents the, his country, Sri Lanka, as the ambassador. But his connection to Frankfurt has remained unbroken. Tonight, he will speak to us as the founding president of the Diplomatic Council. The Diplomatic Council is a global think tank of international thinkers and leaders. Your Excellency, Woody Atauda, founding president of the Diplomatic Council and ambassador of Sri Lanka in The Hague, would you please join me on stage? Excellencies, Honorable Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Honorable Members of the Parliament, Distinguished Guests, Dear Colleagues and Dear Minister. It's nice to be here back in Frankfurt where I started my diplomatic career and this is where my roots are and it's really nice to be back here, especially with Bodo Kruger, my dear friend, Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger and all my other friends. You know, I have traveled here from Den Haag to speak to you as the founding president of the Diplomatic Council. But before I tell you more about the Diplomatic Council, I would like to use this opportunity to express my special gratitude to my dear friend, Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger. As Honorary Consul General of Nepal, Bodo Kruger founded the German Asian Business Circle, also known as DAW in 1995, long time ago. Under his presidency, DAW has evolved to one of the most influential business clubs in Germany relevant to Asia. Today, it encompasses a network of more than 1,900 businesses and institutions, just like uh, Ms. Noyan said earlier. DAW has made its business to help establish business and support business friendships uh, between uh, the Asian countries and Germany. Uh, by this time, President Bodo Kruger has also successfully expanded his activities to other European countries. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all together here in Frankfurt tonight at one of the largest Asian New Year receptions in Europe and we owe mainly to Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger for this large gathering. Let's give him a warm round of applause for Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger. <laughs> Dear Bodo, you really deserve this applause. Uh, uh, in this, in this, uh, this year's uh, reception, is also a novelty uh, because this is the first time a diplomatic council 
is taking a sponsorship part with this event. But this is no coincidence though. Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger is not only the president of the German Asia Business Circle, but he is also a member of the chairmanship of the uh, Diplomatic Council. So therefore, we want to honor Bodo Kruger with our Diplomatic Council for all the work he has done and, and, and for Asian community and, and the German businesses. Not only that, I have a secret to share with you, my dear friends. For any new diplomat who come to Germany, there is only one stop shop for advice. That is Honorary Consul Bodo Kruger. Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger. Could you come here for a minute, please? You know, while this uh, German-Asia business circle focusing mainly on business relations, as its name implies, the Diplomatic Council is a global think tank aiming to develop in-depth analysis and solutions to those larger complex questions we encounter. We have made it our business to contribute to the process of peacemaking through means of diplomacy. For this purpose, we rely on worldwide solidarity to solve international problems, economic, social, cultural, humanitarian, and to strengthen the respect for human rights and fundamental freedom. As members of Diplomatic Council, welcomes not only associates of the uh, Diplomatic uh, or Council or other personalities, of the economic and cultural life, sports, politics. In other words, in other words, any of you distinguished guests, uh, Diplomatic Council is thrilled to welcome any members who wish to make a contribution to make tomorrow's world a better place. On this occasion, I would like to give two people who have significantly contributed to founding and supporting the Diplomatic Council. My special thanks goes to Mrs. Hang Nguyen and my Mr. Andreas Dripke. Can I have both of you here, please, for a moment? Where is Andreas Dripke, Diplomatic Council, founding member? Ladies and gentlemen, now uh, uh, Ms. Hang is also the Secretary General of our Diplomatic Council from the beginning and she is really the point of contact for all our members. So if you are further interested in Diplomatic Council, please share your business card with her or, or me and give her a call and you could join our organization. And I also want to uh, uh, remind you, Mr. Andreas Gripke is not only the founding member of Diplomatic Council, he is responsible for excellent public relations uh, for our association through his international PR company called European Marketing Communication. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I want to, uh, let's give them a great uh, round of applause. Thank you. you know, the, the progress of humanity has always been marked by individuals who are shown understanding and dedication for their cause. In today's time of globalization, our engagement with and for international understanding has become particularly significant. We are more than 7 billion people today on this planet. Theoretically, we all can live happily, peacefully in this world. But, yeah, you know, you know about the grotesque conflicts that occur every day in this world. Sadly, we also know that it will never be possible to solve all these conflicts. Nevertheless, this should not stop us from trying our best to con contribute to peace and freedom 
wherever, however, and whenever we can. For example, think about Sri Lanka, the country that I have honored to represent in Netherlands as ambassador. You might, as you might know, Sri Lanka was terrorized by a ruthless terrorist group in, uh, for many years, depriving education for little children, healthcare for the needy in the northern region of Sri Lanka. But since 2009, His Excellency the President Mahindra Rajapaksha won the hearts of the people and has established peace and democracy for all. Sri Lanka is a politically liberal country now, where the economy and tourism is booming. Especially the German tourists, they have much appreciation for our country's beauty. Here, it has succeeded in creating peace for 21.5 million people, the entire population of Sri Lanka, and no more child soldiers. In this spirit, I will finish my speech by quoting my, friend, my good friend, my dear friend, Honorary Consul General Bodo Kruger. The only way to make a friend is by being a friend yourself. You all say, huh? So let's make uh, use of this event and the networks of the German Asia Business Circle and the Diplomatic Council to make new friends and to deepen the bonds of friendship. I also want to uh, take a quick moment to talk about my brand new ambassador from Sri Lanka to Germany and the brand new Consul General from Sri Lanka to Frankfurt. My dear friends, I want to, uh, even though uh, Bodo Group introduced uh, our ambassador, I just want to say two quick things about our, our brand new ambassador. His excellent, uh, our ambassador, Excellency Mr. Sarah Kongahake, was a former presidential candidate, former famous lawyer, head of the largest TV station, and, uh, and he now going to take over this new, uh, he has just taken over the ambassador, shop, uh, ambassador post in Berlin, and I know, I'm confident, he will build the greatest bridge between Germany and Sri Lanka. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome one more time Ambassador Sarat Kongagi. He was also a former member of the parliament in Sri Lanka, so he has unbelievable experience. So, to support him, we have another great representative from a great family in Sri Lanka, our former President Jayavadana's grandson, representing in Frankfurt, Pradeep Jayavadana. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, on, uh, con Consul General in Frankfurt, Pradeep Jayavadana. And I wish both of you very good luck and all the best, and all my friends and colleagues are also there with you, just like they are with me. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and good night. Jetzt habe ich eine gute Nachricht, das war die letzte Rede für heute. Sicher kennt jeder von Ihnen Hollywood, es geht aber noch Schiller da. Weitschiller in einem anderen Kontinent, Indien. Schiller und Bund, das ist die Welt von Bollywood, der Studiostadt, die im damaligen Bombay gebaut wurde und heute Mumbai heißt. Wir haben keinen Film mitgebracht heute für Sie, aber neun kleine Tänzer werden einen kleinen, bunten, indischen Eindruck heute für Sie hinterlassen. Ladies and Gentlemen, everyone knows Hollywood, but there is a continent that is much more dazzling in this respect, India. Glittering and glistening, and often very dramatic, this is how Bollywood, the studio city of Mumbai, presents itself. We haven't brought along a movie. However, in a few seconds, nine tiny and sweet dancers will turn the stage into a colorful Indian scenery.